For the first time since May 2nd, there are no tents at King's College Circle on the University of Toronto's downtown campus. The pro-Palestinian encampment that occupied the space for more than two months has cleared out ahead of the 6 p.m. deadline. This comes after an injunction sought by the school was granted by an Ontario court. But while the encampment has come down, protesters are still making their voices heard. For more, let's go live to our Sean O'Shea, who is at a rally. Sean, what are the demonstrators saying? We're actually live uh, at uh, Queen's Park Circle, and the 6 o'clock injunction deadline is here, and the special constable here has the legal authority to ask everybody to leave, and we're going to do that, certainly. But there's a paper mache statue that was up here that, they, that the protesters put up in the last few hours, and uh, others just knocked it down in the last uh, three minutes as we uh, came to air. So this is pretty much all that is left of the encampment, and the campers took all of their tents away. They didn't leave any garbage behind. They are all gone. They went to a protest uh, just a little ways uh, from here. You can take a look at some of that uh, going on. So they claimed victory, actually, even though the court ordered them to leave this lawn after two months of occupying it, claiming that, uh, that they actually won. And so we're going to hear from one of those who spoke just a little while ago. Our continued occupation through the summer convocation period was a massive victory. We prevented the university from convocation washing its complicity during what should have been a time of reflection on its moral responsibilities. Now what happened here is that all the protesters had left and then the gate was opened by some others who decided to come. A lot of people here just taking pictures, uh, selfies, wanting to memorialize this. Uh, not supporters in any way, shape or form of what went on here uh, over the last two months. So the only people left here, uh, some other journalists, Global News, and some people who just wanted to see what happened here. But I, again, pointing out no garbage left. The lawn doesn't need a lawn cutting, but it is over here. The injunction at six o'clock, had they been here, they would have been forced to leave. They chose to leave beforehand. The protest here at U of T is done. Back to you. All right, our Sean O'Shea reporting live at the University of Toronto for us. Thank you, Sean.